Hello and welcome to Human Anatomy with Dr. P. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at the structures of the uterus and the vulva. Let's start with the uterus. Notice how the uterus is located superior to the urinary bladder. This position is important because as our fetus begins to develop, it's going to put more and more weight and pressure on the urinary bladder. This means by about the third trimester, females are going to have a very hard time expanding their bladder to store urine, which explains the need for increased urination. Now, when I look at the uterus and I zoom in, I can see that it's made up of three layers. The outermost layer is known as the perimetrium. Remember, peri means around the outside. The middle muscular layer is the myometrium. Myo means muscle. And then the inner layer where the actual fertilized cell implants is called the endometrium. The endometrium provides nutrients to the developing embryo, and it's also the layer that is shed each month during menstruation. Now, at the end of the uterus, we can see this narrowed region. This is called the cervix. Cervix means neck. So it's essentially the neck of the uterus where it meets the vagina. Now, let's go down and talk about the vulva. The vulva is the collective term for the external genitalia of the female. The first structure we should mention is the fat pad located anterior to the pubic symphysis. This pad of fat is known as the mons pubis. Mons means mountain, pubis refers to the genitals, so it's essentially genital mountain. The next structures are the labia. Labia means lips, and we have two sets of lips located in the external genitalia of the female. The outer lip tends to be larger and associated with pubic hair. This lip is known as the labia majora because it's larger. The inner lips, which tend to not have pubic hair associated with them, are known as the labia minora, the small lips. So labia majora, labia minora. The last structure of the vulva is this small bit of erectile tissue known as the clitoris. The clitoris and the penis are actually homologous structures, which means they develop from the same embryological tissue, which is why the glans penis has lots of nerves, and so does the clitoris. Now, one thing I want to end on with this video is remember, the vagina is used for reproduction it's separate from the urethra in the female. So females have a separate urinary and reproductive tract. That's a lot different than what we see in males. And because the urethra is a lot shorter in females, this explains why females are more prone to things like UTIs.